Good evening, friends and colleagues. I just want to take a moment here, firstly, to express my gratitude and appreciation to all of you. I know that these have been incredibly challenging times over the past several days. In fact, um, we're on uh, just concluded our 10th day of, of our school closure due to um, the, the, the world pandemic with uh, COVID-19. Um, thank you. Um, I appreciate your fortitude. I appreciate your, your spirits and your hearts as you are trying to um, manage it all, your, your personal life and your professional life and professional responsibilities, making sure that you're connecting with our students and our families and, of course, with each other. Thank you. I'd like to specifically acknowledge um, our food service um, department every morning. Um, they've been coming in. I believe they're starting at 7 a.m. Um, to prepare um, breakfast and food for our students in need. Um, the food service um, team, along with our transportation department, um, load hundreds of meals onto buses and put them in uh, strategic spots for our for our students and families in need. And each day we're distributing between 350 to 400 meals per day. Um, truly um, unsung heroes and greatly appreciated. Our, our B&G team um, has been in our buildings for the past 10 days, cleaning them, making sure that they're um, getting all the nooks and crannies, sanitizing the building. So if and when we do um, come back to school, they'll be ready for, for use. Our IT staff has been available on moment's notice, um, the help desk, and many of you have used the help desk. Um, many tickets are coming in. Students have used the help desk as well, and they're there serving um, our, our school members in, in this time in need. And it's important to note that before everyone um, left, if, I, if, I, if I'm repeating myself, I apologize, but um, we were able to give out 250 laptops for use during this closure to our students. And I think that was an incredible effort and um, great appreciation to the IT team and those who helped distribute um, those computers to our, to our um, school members who needed them. Um, I, I would have to say that um, <clears throat> the work of our teachers has been simply amazing. I greatly appreciate um, all the reach outs that you've done to students and families during this time. We're, we're looking to you for guidance. We're looking to you to help um, keep our, our students. Um, as a parent, I could say the same thing. We're, you know, when our um, children are talking to their teachers and their classmates, they're smiling and they really enjoy those moments. I've seen it in my own house. Um, it's, it's like the biggest news that's, that's going on for that moment. Um, we're looking forward to continuing that. And in a little bit, I'll be talking about how we're going to communicate our next steps with curriculum and instruction. But, but thank you to our, our educators who are, are reaching out. To our mental health team, um, I know that you're talking to students. I know that you're talking to each other. Um, you're creating videos, uh, mindful minutes, um, so students and, and and hopefully staff can in, um, benefit from taking some mindful minutes and moments during this time. Um, something we all need to do to make sure that we're, we're grounded, taking care of um, our, our, our own personal wellness and of course the wellness of our students. So thank you to them. Um, I would also have expressed my appreciation to our, our building leaders. You've been a part of it. You've seen it up close and personal. There's been morning shows. There's been um, incredible communication, um, trying to disseminate information in, in timely and in pertinent um, ways. So appreciate our administrators. Um, they're showing incredible leadership and it's greatly appreciated and, and well noted. Families um, are continually expressing their appreciation. Um, and I know that our students love seeing all the activities and all the um, items on social media um, that staff and our, um, are, are, are continually posting on there. Um, to our CNI team, um, lots of planning and organization, making sure that we're ready for the next phase of this closure. Um, <clears throat> there'll be a communication coming out um, that will speak clearly to what um, the next phases will be. Um, lots of planning, lots of organizing that's going to talk about how we're going to continue to communicate um, our academic expectations, how we're going to um, use technology to share information, to connect with our students. Um, I appreciate their vision, 
their leadership and their organization around this incredible task. Um, again, that communication will be forthcoming. Um, please make sure that you read it carefully. We're really trying to be cautious about how frequently um, we communicate with you. So when we do communicate with you, please take the time to read it because um, it will be important for your work forward. But your administrators will also be tying bits of that communication into theirs as well. So um, we'll be trying to get it in multiple different ways to you. Um, attached to this email will be a thought exchange. A uh, thought exchange is my attempt to get your voice, um, understand your expectations and how we can best support you um, as we continue to try to move forward in, in our closure. Um, in particular, um, we're looking to get feedback. You know, I'm specifically looking to get feedback on how we could best support you um, using different um, tools of, of technology to connect to our students and to each other during this time. Um, it, this is uh, an anonymous um, thought exchange where you'll have an opportunity to share your views and um, um, expectations for how we move forward and stay connected with each other. Um, friends, that's all I have for now. Um, again, um, one last thing. Um, as many of you know, the Governor Cuomo um, did extend um, the um, closures to April 14th. It makes sense that he's going to be doing this every so often, looking at the information, looking at the data. Um, so it's not um, too far out ahead, um, but he's doing it in a methodical way. And, and, and um, I know that that um, you know, gives us some guard, um, guardrails as we plan. Also in the governor's speech this afternoon, um, he spoke much about the budget and the fiscal constraints that we're all going to be living under. Um, we're still trying to make sense of that. Um, I'll be working closely with our Board of Education in, in the coming weeks um, once the budget is finalized. Um, again, I don't have any information, um, but I do know that um, we'll be looking at it very closely. So please stay tuned for updates. Um, and as I get our final numbers of the governor's final budget to our schools, um, I will be communicating that and working closely with the Board of Education and we'll be um, then communicating to the, to the greater school community on what that means for our Fairport schools. Next week, or the week of April 6th to the 10th, will be um, our spring break, and we hope we use that time to get yourself organized, to, to make sure that you're taking care of yourselves, taking care of your families, um, and, and doing what's best. So um, when we do come back the following week, you know, we can continue to um, work with um, our students and families. So. Um, that's all I have for now. Um, again, um, heartfelt um, appreciation and gratitude and love for you all. Please take care of yourselves, take care of your families, um, and, and thank you for all that you're doing.